Welcome to Infi Gyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical expression. X and Y is given to us. We have to simplify this expression. X power 5 plus Y power 5 over square root X power 5 plus square root Y power 5. So I will begin with the rationalization of X and Y. So I need to multiply numerator denominator of X with root 7 plus root 3. And with y, I will multiply numerator denominator root 7 minus root 3. Now we have to simplify. Now you can see the denominator is a plus b a minus b. Difference of two squares. Root 7 square is 7. Root 3 square is 3. Here also I will write 7 minus 3. Now come to numerator. In x, I will write root 7 plus root 3 whole square. In y, we will write root 7 minus root 3 whole square. Now let's expand both. So I will be writing x and y separately as x equal to root 7 plus root 3 whole square. So I will write a square, so 7 plus b square, so 3 plus 2 times root 7 times root 3. So root 21 divided by 4 or 10 plus 2 root 21 by 4 or 5 plus root 21 divided by 2. Now y. y will be a minus b whole square. So it will be as it is only this 2ab term will be with minus sign. So I will write this result as 10 minus 2 root 21 over 4. Similarly, I will write 5 minus square root 21 over 2. Now let us calculate x plus y right now. So x plus y will be, if I will add, then this root 21 with plus sign minus root 21 will be over. So 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2. This would be 5. So one result is x plus y equal to 5. Now if I will take here directly the product of x and y. Then you can see denominator of x is numerator of y and vice versa. So I will write x, y. This would be 1. Now one new system of equation where we are having x plus y 5, x, y equal to 1. And our target is to evaluate this expression. So let us target the numerator first, x power 5 plus y power 5. I will begin with x plus y equal to 5, x y equal to 1. So I will calculate first x power 5 plus y power 5. Let us consider the squaring of this equation. Squaring. So I will write x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 25. So xy is 1. So I will write directly x square plus y square equal to 23 because of this value is 1. So 2 times 1, 2. 25 minus 2 is 23. So a square sum is 23. Now I will consider cubing of the same equation. So let me consider cube. I will be writing x plus y whole cube equal to 5 whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b equal to 125. Now xy is again 1. x plus y is this time 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So I am writing directly x cube plus y cube plus 15 equal to 125. So x cube plus y cube equal to 110. 125 minus 15, 110. Now I have to calculate x power 5 plus y power 5. So I need to multiply these two equations. Let's take the product. 
एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर टाइम्स एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री टाइम्स वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो दिस प्रोडक्ट इज टू फाइव थ्री जीरो नाउ लेट्स मल्टीप्लाई सो इफ आई विल मल्टीप्लाई हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर टाइम्स एक्स क्यूब एक्स पार फाइव वाई स्क्वायर टाइम्स वाई क्यूब वाई पार फाइव नाउ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो आई विल बी हैविंग एक्स स्क्वायर वाई क्यूब प्लस एक्स क्यूब वाई स्क्वायर एंड राइट हैंड साइड इज टू फाइव थ्री जीरो नाउ वंस आई विल टेक एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस देन विल बी हैविंग एक्स प्लस वाई इन द ब्रैकेट नाउ एक्स प्लस वाई वैल्यू इज फाइव and x y value is 1 so it is 1 square and 5 so ultimately from this equations conclusion i can write x power 5 plus y power 5 this value will be 2530 minus 5 this is in product so i will write 2525 this is our required numerator now let us consider denominator calculation let me write here result x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to 2525 now for denominator i will consider first first step would be i will consider root x plus root y whole square see this expansion so i will be writing a square so x b square so y 2ab so 2 times root xy now x plus y this value is 5 xy is 1 so i can write this value is 5 plus 2 and it is equal to 7 so from here we can conclude root x plus root y equal to square root 7 negative we won't consider as x value you can check x is positive y is also positive root x will be positive root y will be positive so root x plus root y will be always positive now i will consider the cube of this equation so let me write here cubing of the equation so i will write root x plus root y whole cube equal to root 7 whole cube let me write root x cube so i will be writing x root x root y cube so i will be writing y root y then 3 times ab so i will write root x y and in bracket i will be writing root x plus root y and right hand side root 7 times root 7 times root 7 so 7 root 7 now let's put the value of root x y it would be let me write here it is 1 so this value will be 3 times 1 times root x plus root y is root 7 so it will be 3 root 7 overall so i can write here x root x plus y root y plus 3 root 7 equal to 7 root 7 so from here we are having x root x plus y root y equal to 7 minus 3 is 4 so 4 root 7 very important equation in this problem solving context now i will consider our last step that is i will take the product of this equation let me write x square plus y square and i will multiply this with root x plus root y so this value was 23 the square sum and square root x plus square root y we calculated it was square root 7 now let's multiply so i will be writing x square times root x this will be x square root x y square times root y so y square root y now cross multiplication so i will write x square root y and then it would be y square root x and right hand side it is 23 root 7 now if you will see your denominator this denominator then this denominator is actually this term how it is 
let me demonstrate here root x power 5 we can write it is root x power 4 times root x so root x power 4 is x square similarly root y power 5 we can use exponent law and we can write it is y power 4 times root y so it is y square root y so this term is our denominator now come to this part if i will take from here root x y common or root x root y common then what would be left inside the bracket it would be x root x plus y root y and this value we have just calculated before this slide so right hand side is 23 root 7 x root x plus y root y we calculated 4 root 7 and a square root x y this is nothing but a square root x y which is 1 because x y is 1 so ultimately denominator plus 1 times 4 root 7 that is 4 root 7 equal to 23 root 7 so denominator it is equal to 23 minus 4 so 19 root 7 now task is done numerator we have already calculated x power 5 plus y power 5 it was 2525 5. now denominator is 19 root 7 let's simplify let's put the value actually let us call this is our expression e so e will be equal to x power 5 plus y power 5 over square root x power 5 plus square root y power 5 so i will write it is 2 5 2 5 and denominator we have calculated 19 root 7 so this is our ultimate and final answer for the rational and radical expression challenge i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video Good luck.